everybody welcome back to my channel so when I had cash my nine month old I was not really sure what to put in the diaper bag and I wish I would have done this video when he was younger so I could help other moms out when I figured out like what to put in the diaper bag this one's gonna be what to put in your diaper bag for a nine month old because he is now nine months old and this is the diaper bag I have I absolutely love this diaper bag it's from Fawn Design, and before I purchased this diaper bag, I looked at a lot of different diaper bags. Um, I actually bought, before I got this one, I bought a diaper bag from Bye Bye Baby, and it's got like a cute like design on it. It kind of looks like a designer purse. I'll go ahead and link that one down below as well because I really like that one. Um, it's just, I, it's, it's the one that goes over your shoulder. And I found that having the one that goes over your shoulder like a purse was very impractical because carrying a baby in one arm or carrying the car seat is very hard to keep that. It like would fall off all the time. So I now use that diaper bag that I got for like if we go overnight somewhere, I use it for like clothes and stuff like that. It's kind of like an overnight bag. And this one's my everyday diaper bag now. And my favorite thing about this diaper bag is that it's a backpack. Now, when I was looking for diaper bags, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the backpack version. I was like, it kind of seems like it'd be harder, but this has been so much easier. Now, this is the, the mini style. They, they make, uh, they actually make a, a diaper bag. This one's just the mini bag. It's not meant for a diaper bag, but it's big enough for what I need. And it was one of the less expensive options. The actual diaper bag, I think was like $50 more, maybe, maybe more than that. And this was already, I think I paid $100 for this diaper bag. So it was maybe maybe I paid a little bit more than $100 for it. So it was already like a huge investment. So I was like, eh, if I can fit everything in this one, I'll just get this one. So what I love the most about this is it's all vegan leather. And so it wipes clean. Like if you put it on like your dirty car floor or like in restaurants or something, it just wipes clean. It doesn't get dirty or stained. And it does come with a strap where you can hook to these buckles right here and you can make it a shoulder bag if you're one of the moms that likes to have a shoulder diaper bag. It also can be a shoulder diaper bag. And it's got a compartment right here in the front for, and I usually put my cell phone right in there. So there's a compartment right there. And then there's this. So yeah, my cell phone will go in here. And then this front compartment here, I put hair scrunchies and then a pack of gum. So that's what I have in the front of the diaper bag. And then there's two side pouches here and here. In this side pouch, I keep a thing of hand sanitizer. I use it all the time. And this one in particular is my favorite brand um, for babies because it's foaming and it doesn't like get watery on your hands. It doesn't take forever to dry. You just rub it in and it absorbs really quickly. So you don't have to worry about them eating it off their hands. And I use it for myself, and then my 11-year-old um, also uses it. And then in the next side pouch over here, I have some Burt's Bees Baby Lotion, and then I have a lotion for myself. So I have a lotion for him and a lotion for me here in the side pouch, and then I will keep like my lip glosses in here as well. I actually have them in my purse right now. Um, and then uh, there's a back pouch right here, which is also very nice. It's like the whole size of the diaper bag and then it's like a pouch right here and I put the iPad in there because when we go like on long trips, uh, we I put the iPad on for him and this is the perfect pouch just to stick the iPad right in here. And then there's a zipper pouch on the back right here and it goes all the way through, like goes through the whole bag. And in this pouch I have some tissues and these have also come in handy. I've used these as well. Um, there was one time when I forgot to bring his burp cloth, so I used a tissue. And then we'll go ahead and get into the inside of the bag. It's a pretty, it, it, when you first get this bag, it's very, like, it seems like it's a lot smaller because it, like brand new shoes, you have to wear it in. So it has stretched out more and gotten bigger over the months that I've had it. So that's also something to keep in mind when you do first get it. It is like everything's just like tight and hard to shove in here, but now it's like the perfect size now that I've had it for a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into what's in here. So I have these Happy Baby Yogi's Yogurt Bites. These 
have come in handy so many times I can't even count. Most of the time I have my 11 year old in the car and he'll give these to him like when he's being fussy and we'll be able to make it through the rest of the car ride because sometimes he doesn't make it through car rides. He gets fussy and he doesn't really like the car. He's never liked the car. So these help keep him occupied so he doesn't start screaming and I have to drive while a baby's screaming. So I really like these. And then sometimes we go out when it's lunchtime or like he might be hungry for a snack. So I have, I always have one of these in the diaper bag. It's the um, True Goodness Organic a uh, baby pouch so I keep one of these in there at all times and then I also keep a bib in the diaper bag because I've noticed when I give him those pouches he'll still get messy um, even those treats that I give him will get stuck to him so um, I have a bib and then also we go to like grandparents houses and stuff and when we uh, eat dinner there the next thing in here are some aqua pure pamper wipes and then I have, of course, Huggies diapers. And I keep about five to seven of these in the diaper bag at a time. And then I have an outfit for him. And I don't like two-piece outfits because it they just kind of like get lost in the diaper bag and it's harder to find them. So I like putting a one-piece outfit in there. So this is the outfit I currently have in there for him. This one is a six to 12 month. So it's perfect because he's nine months old now. And then I also keep a onesie in there, just a short sleeve onesie because it's uh, hotter out right now. So that's like a, like a backup just in case. And then I always roll everything like this to make it fit. And then it just, you know, it doesn't get wrinkly that way either. And then I have this in there. This is like a little popsicle for babies and it comes with little, a lot of different size nipples like this. And I will put frozen fruit in here or breast, uh, frozen breast milk in here. And he loves this, this really helps with his teething. So I'll keep one of these in the cupboard at home and then I keep one in the diaper bag um, because when he has something like this, it definitely calms him down. I feel like out and about and he's upset. And then I have a changing mat and this is vegan leather and it's like the perfect size like this is this, this is the size of it right here and it's super easy to unfold and fold back up and super easy to wipe clean I love this changing mat so much I need to get a couple more of them see and then it just folds right back up perfect perfect and it's not cloth I really don't like the cloth changing mats because he's peed on the mats before so many times and I've had to wash the the mats and I couldn't reuse them the same day and then I was just without a mat. So this has been a huge, huge help. And then I keep two pairs of socks in there. And then the next things I put in here are teething gel. I have two of them just in case. And then I have the, this little like chew, it's like a, you put the teething gel on it and then he can like chew on it. And that's for moments where if my hands are dirty, I can't put my hands in his mouth right away, but he needs teething gel, I'll just put it right on here. And then he'll go ahead and chew on that and get the teething gel that way. And then it just gives him some comfort as well. And then I have some sunscreen in there just in case I forget to bring his bigger bottle of sunscreen if we go anywhere. And then I have this Dreft stain remover pen. And then I don't like using plastic straws, so we bring our own. I have mine in my purse, and then I have his, and they come in this case. It's like little silicone straws. And then some Aqua 4, like little travel size Aqua 4. Wet wipes. These have come in handy countless, countless times. Um, I even use them like if I need to wipe down my steering wheel. I use these for every, everything. So. Um, as you can tell, like I'm almost out of them. So these are definitely a huge must in the diaper bag because you never know, especially with all this COVID stuff going on, it's just really good to have sanitary wipes on you, especially with the baby. And then I have this little pouch here um, and it came with his glasses. He's got some little baby sunglasses right here and I put them in the pouch so they don't get scratched or anything. And they're super cute. And he actually keeps these on, I was really surprised. And then I have his 
gripe water syringe in this this case here. So here's the syringe and here's the binky and you just go ahead and you put it like this and you dispense either the gripe water or medicine in here. I use this for gripe water and gripe water alone. I don't ever give him medicine. Um, he is just in love with gripe water. Um, it helps him if he's fussy, if he has an upset stomach, helps him go to sleep. So I always, always, always have this on me just in case he starts fussing in the car or like when we're out and about. So that goes in there. And then to go along with that, I always have a gripe water in here. This is the Mommy's Bliss gripe water. I only use this brand for the diaper bag because you don't have to refrigerate it. Um, I use a different brand for at the house that I like better because it has no preservatives in it, so it has to be refrigerated. And that is it for what's in his diaper bag. So I'm gonna show you um, where I put everything in the diaper bag. So I'll start with this back pouch. I put the sanitary wipes right here in this back pouch here. And then I put the gripe water pen right here. The gripe water here. And then his sunglasses right here and then his silicone straws I'll put in here as well and then for his sunscreen and the stain remover pen I'll put those two in this side pouch here along with the aqua four so that goes in the side pouch right here like that and then I put the teething gel and teething chewer thing in the other side pouch right here. Like that. It's got the two side pouches and then the middle pouch. And then the changing mat and the diapers. I face the diapers down because it's easier to grab it from this end than this end that's open. And then I put these together like this. And then I put that right in the center of the diaper bag like that. And then I put the wipes right behind the diapers against the front of the diaper bag. So it's out of the way, just like that. And, and then the socks, I put those in those like two back pouches that I showed you right here which is like behind the wipes and the diapers type deal right there and then this I kind of just shove in there right there next to the mat and the diapers and then the outfit and the onesie down here like that and then I put the bib on top of the outfit and the onesie right in the corner because that needs to be more accessible right in the corner like that. And then I just fold the bag, put that on top there, and then I put this on top, and voila, that is the diaper bag. So I will have everything linked down below. And I just wanted to say sorry that I didn't get my video uploaded on Tuesday or Friday. I kind of had like an off week. So for people that are new here, I do upload videos every Tuesday and Friday. If anyone has any suggestions on videos like this or any videos at all, just leave them in the comments below. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope everybody has a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.